One in 500 residents of the United States of America have died from the COVID-19 pandemic. And I have this tweet here that uh, was on the trending tab. I don't know who this person is. One in 500 U.S. residents has died of COVID-19. This shocking reality is even worse knowing many of these deaths, particularly in 2020, with safe vaccine being widely available at no cost, were preventable. Shame on anti-vaxxers and anti-maskers. So let's read this article here. Uh, now, again, I want to be very clear. My opinion is that I think every death of COVID-19 was preventable. I don't think there is a single death that could not have been prevented if we did not live in a capitalist society. Capitalism is what killed one in 500 Americans, not COVID-19. Sorry, if we would have done a national lockdown for six weeks in February, none of this would be happening. Those 15 cases that were originally described, right? Right. They wouldn't have ballooned into 40 million. We wouldn't have Delta variants, Mu variants, Gamma variants. We wouldn't have that because it would have been handled. But the United States of America and broadly the world, the capitalist world that we live in, decided, eh, fuck it. We want some money. We want to keep stores open. We want to keep in-person restaurants open. And so they waited and they waited until March when it became too much of a problem to ignore. You had situations where like the New York City mayor was begging the governor at that time to provide any assistance in locking down. He refused. Andrew Cuomo famously massacred a bunch of people in nursing homes, sending uh, COVID positive patients to nursing homes to infect the entirety of the nursing homes. But did he resign over that? Nah. It was just sexual assault and uh, harassment scandals, which he should resign over, of course. But everyone just forgot that he was a serial uh, killer and murdered a lot of people's grandparents, their aunts, their uncles. A lot of people just forgot that. Every single death of COVID-19 was preventable. All of the deaths, one in 500 Americans so far has been murdered by capitalism in the United States. So I want to read this. The United States has reached another grim milestone in its fight against the devastating COVID-19 pandemic. One in 500 Americans have died from coronavirus since the nation's first reported infection. Now, again, these numbers are also underreported. Also, think about the people that haven't died of coronavirus, but are dying because the ICUs are at full capacity. We are reading story after story of people dying because they have regular issues. And sorry, I see no ICU beds within 300 miles and now they're dead. Does that not count? How many Americans are dying and are dead because of capitalism? Capitalism says we don't need as many ICU beds as possible to prepare for a potential pandemic. Capitalism says, let's just maybe do the bare minimum. We don't want to spend a lot of money on extra buildings and extra beds that might not be used. We want to spend money guessing that we're going to get the highest ICU fill to ICU bed ratio. Whoops, there's a pandemic. Whoops. Now there's no more ICU beds available because capitalism said we didn't want to waste money on those kind of products, on those kind of things, on medicine, on supplies, on doctors, on nurses, on staff for an emergency pandemic. Eh, whatever. Capitalism is killing these people. Now, again, obviously, co like COVID is killing people in a literal sense. But what I'm saying here is that capitalism is the reason why these people are dead. If the virus, the virus can happen in a globally communistic society and nothing would have, we would have all been fine. Maybe a couple people could have died when, and when the outbreaks first reported. But if we actually lived in an actual society that actually made sense that was run by actual people that actually cared about anyone else ever, this wouldn't have happened. It's a sobering toll that comes as hospitals in the U.S. are struggling to keep up with the volume of patients and more children are grappling with the virus. In Elizabeth City, where I live, uh, there was a meeting of the county commissioners 
where it was reported that a child died of COVID. And one of the county commissioners said it was the masks that are causing the disease. I just had to throw that in there. In hopes of managing the spread and preventing more unnecessary deaths, officials are implementing mandates for vaccinations in workplaces and masking in school. No, they're not. No, they're not. The vaccine mandate doesn't exist. Because it provides the option of weekly testing. That's not a mandate. A mandate is not do this or don't do it. That's fine. That's not a mandate. A mandate is do this. I mandate that you mow the lawn. Yeah. Well, I have a lawn mowing mandate. Either you mow the lawn or you don't. That's the mandate. What? That's not a mandate. <laughs> Since when is that a mandate? I mandate that you take the garbage out. Or you don't have to if you don't want to. That's not a mandate. How is that a mandate? The U.S. is reporting a more than 30% increase in average daily cases and a near tripling of average daily deaths over the past month, according to data from the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. But with only 54% of the population fully vaccinated, the rate of people initiating vaccinations each day has declined over the past month. Health experts have hailed vaccinations as the best source of protection against the virus. Reminder, I got my vaccine, like, the, literally, like the, day, like, the day that I became eligible, I scheduled my appointment, and that was, like, three or four days away from when I scheduled it. I'm not a dumb fuck motherfucker. I'm not a dumb fuck motherfucker. I'm sorry. If you are in a country where the vaccine is free and you haven't gotten it yet, you're a dumb fuck motherfucker. Oh, but, you know, uh, 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 go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. Now, I get a lot of people got stuck with work. I get that. And they don't, they don't have, like, the ability to take a couple days off because of work. But again, that's capitalism at the, the root cause there. And also, I'm going to be honest. If the options are die or kill my entire family or quit my job and find a new one or use some, some sick days, I, I'm just saying. Now, again... I know that that's a complicated conversation for a lot of people, but let's be real here. The majority of unvaccinated folks are not those that are poor and struggling. Let's be real. Let's be honest. The majority of unvaccinated people are lazy and garbage conspiracy theorists. That Let's be real about that. If you are not vaccinated in September of 2021, you are either lazy or a conspiracy theorist. And I guess a small amount of those people account for people that are actually in genuinely horrible situations. I'm just saying. I'm, the CDC recommends people, even those fully vaccinated, wear masks indoors in areas with substantial or high community transition. More than 99% of the population lives in a county with one of those designations. Remember when the CDC said you can drop your mask outside? And then they said if you're vaccinated, you don't need to wear a mask inside. And then a couple months later... Boom, Delta variant, so they have to reverse that. They should have never reversed that in the beginning. They should have mandated masks at all times. I don't care if you're vaccinated. I'm vaccinated. I wear three masks when I go into buildings. Why? Because I don't want to fucking die. And I don't want to kill my fucking family. Because I care about the world. One in 500 people that we know of, it's probably closer to one in 400. Let's be real. Like... As a YouTuber, I interact with hundreds of people a day. I get hundreds of views, thousands of views a day. So statistically, people that watched my videos, like in March of 2020, right? There's a good chunk of them that are dead now. Think about that. Let me look at my YouTube analytics from March of 2020. I'm going in, folks. I am going in. Let's see.
So I got 100k views in the month of March of 2020. So what is that? What is that? So that's two per 1,000. Jesus Christ. Isn't that, like, that's, like, isn't that incredible? That this many people are dead? Now, I guess people can watch my videos multiple times. But, like, it's like... I, like... And this is all preventable. This is no reason for any of this. There's no reason for any of this. I, I just, it's depressing. I really don't need, like, and think about the people that got COVID and did not die. Again, think about that. They're going to have lifelong debilitating illness. I, I can't even, I'm done with this. I'm done. I, I'm going to fucking cry live on stream, folks.